Hey everybody, Wisconsin Skinny 54484 on PlayStation Network, Dumas Farms on YouTube, and uh, we're going to check out the uh, new map that dropped today. It's the, uh, let's see here, it's the 20th of January. Uh, I've been home from work sick the past couple few days, so I figured... Maybe we'll just do some simple videos today. I actually have a voice. I'm just going to need to make sure I keep something to drink near me because Lord knows it might crap out at any time. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, welcome to Big Fields Farm. Uh, this is the shop area here. Buy point. Um... Take a look at the, uh, oh, I haven't monkeyed with anything. I just turned it on and then I started not real time. We're going to turn the traffic off. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. We hey, it's Charles. How you doing this afternoon? I'm just doing a... Let's play on Big Fields Farm. It's the first time I just downloaded this map this morning. It just came out. It uh, looks like everything we own is down this way. Huh? Looks like a tight little uh, area here. Small, tight, compact. Looks like all the cell points are all just kind of crammed together here. Let's uh, take a look at our map. That's what we were doing. There's a reason they call it Big Fields. And it starts you out with two of the smaller fields in the thing. Um, hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, so far it seems like it's an awesome map, Charles. Uh, I'm pretty... Uh, I'm pretty interested to see what's going to happen here. Rusty buddy! We're checking out the new map, Big Fields Farm. It was a rather small download, actually, and I think that's because most of the map is fields. But let's check it out here. We got Railroad Silo. Yeah, I think that's what I read in the description. There were four or two, at least two railroad silos. And, uh, yep, two mills. So let's check out our equipment. We got a couple of, uh, looks like Fent 511 favorites, 511Cs, yep. And, uh, what else? Oh, I see a splash of yellow back there. That's cool, Charles. I might have to ask you a couple questions if you stick around. Because <laughs> literally, I just got on the map, and then I, I let it sit for a minute while I set up my broadcast, and then, uh, I just jumped into it. So... We got ourselves a New Holland TX32. Oh, another splash of color over here. Oh, what is this? Oh, well, it looks like a Valtra, one of the smaller Valtras. Uh, let's find out. Oh, I think it's an N series Valtra. It's an in game tractor. I've got all the stuff in game. I've got all my mods turned on, but I mean, I might as well. Uh, check the map out so well since we're here we'll move our uh, our Valtra tractor in this wagon I think this map was set up that that you know if you're not playing seasons you uh it would be 
able to be cut. That's why I assume the harvester is over there. So. But we'll just get everything out of the way. Uh, I didn't put any specific geo, I just played the geo that was on the map. Seasons, oh, which reminds me, we should probably turn those down to six day. Let's move everything over there. One of the two fields we own there, we got a hundred thousand um, dollars. I'm kind of curious, uh, not that I'm intending to right this second, but let's uh. See what land prices are like. Forty-one thousand thirty-five. Okay, so these are between thirty-five and forty-two thousand. I guess field three looks like the biggest field in the whole map, and at four million two hundred and seventy-six thousand six hundred and eighty dollars. That's a lot of money. So, alright. Got our Fent favorite here. This really is one of my favorite tractors in the game. Not just because it's called favorite, but they're good tractors. Uh, I have a mod for these tractors as well that, uh, Because you know these are 150 in game, but if you uh, buy them by the mod, you can get them at 195 horse. All right, let's take a little peek here. Yep, an N series Veltra, 174 at 201 horse, 115 horse, 511 Cs, TX32. No actual plow. But look at this. We've got a large chicken coop, a large horse paddock, large sheep pasture, pasture, large pig enclosure, and a large cattle pasture. I mean, they crammed all... It, it, this creator, I can't remember the name. I'm so sorry. Um, he crammed a lot of content into a small space. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's why... I, when I read the description, I figured I should check this map out. Um, we might not keep it. This might be the only uh, time you see this map. Precision farming is working. I actually turned it off because I didn't know if it would work. I should almost turn it back on, but that's okay. I just mostly wanted to check it out. So with our hundred thousand here, we should probably buy a couple plows. Should we be complete cheapskates and buy the uh, Ferguson plows? <laughs> Maybe I will, maybe after I'm, uh, I don't want to bore everybody by switching in and out of screens. So, but I am going to check that out, see how it, uh, see how it does. Especially since I downloaded the new, uh, quadricycle mod today. Four-wheeler ATV. But, uh seems to drive really nice. I played around with it for a minute on a different map. 4.3, 17, somewhere in. Yeah, I think we'll buy two of these burn ones. isn't far away so we can uh, 
Yeah, I'll probably turn precision farming on if you say it works, Charles. How's the sound, Charles? Do I sound all right, or am I muted out by the tractor? plows because then we'll be able to uh, cover more ground. What am I doing? Gotta go to the shop. Oops. Hey, welcome to the stream. If traffic was on, I wouldn't like it as much. So I have to be driving on the wrong side of the road, probably. Two flowers going here. Just have to check in on them every once in a while. When I've got the money, I don't mind spending it on workers. Most of the time, they work pretty well. We are going to watch them on their first row here, though, before we go by one other thing. Not that we particularly need it, but it'll be a nice way to get around the map. We're going to go buy one of those quadricycles. If nobody's seen it yet, they're pretty cool.
seem to be working quite well. Alright, so let's take the voucher. And we'll go and see what we have for grain crop. Haul some out and make some money. Erp. that I need it, but it's nice to know when I get up there and I start filling my trailer. Let's make some money. Now, let's see. Let's check out these cell points. Which ones are the best? So I got a load of canola here. The grain mill. I think that's right on the street. Oh. Sure, it's right up the street. All the way at the top of the map. That's quite okay because it'll give us a chance to kind of explore the map a little. Oh. This map is designed with the right side traffic on. That's nice. As a uh, Someone who lives in the United States and drives on the right-hand side of the road. It's nice when a map drives on the right-hand side of the road. Hey, three in here. Thanks for stopping in. Welcome to the stream. It's really not that far, is it? Lots of tall pines if you want to cut them down, if you're into that. I'm not what I would say into it, but uh, me and a few other people I know. Oh, I'm sure with the size of these fields, yeah, let's... dump this load of grain and see what we can make for a contract because I'm not doing this as a challenge people know me from the challenge pages and I started my uh, YouTubing with my survival challenge which I need to uh, do another episode of hey welcome to the stream holy cow you weren't joking, Charles. 44,000 to cultivate. But I mean, that field is gigantic, even with the case quad track and that flexicoil. I think that thing's 80 foot. That thing, that map, let's take a peek at that. We, we looked at it earlier, but that's field three. I mean... $44,000, yeah, it's simple, but get ready to be there for a while, and I don't think anybody wants to watch me do that. The field is huge. We 
Here we're gonna go get another load of grain. Probably soybeans. Try to sell off a bunch of stuff that'll get us a bunch of money. But I'm gonna hold on to like the oats and the wheat in my bins. Because I might just uh, decide to get a couple horses, a couple other animals that'll eat it. I don't think I get any root crop. Maybe I'll keep the soybeans for the pigs. Uh, I've been doing Farmer Dan's Organic Animal Challenge Sussex. And uh, it's really got me too interested in being self-sufficient you know I've bought I've, I've raised animals and I've put up the multi-fill silo and just grabbed my pig food from there or you know grab pig food at the uh, at the shop you know just bought a pallet of it but I've never uh, never bothered to actually keep pig food on hand gonna keep the wheat keep the oats well, I guess we'll get rid of these sunflowers cause that'll give us a big big up and uh... we'll still have our soybeans to feed pigs Even though I think what we have wouldn't even suffice many pigs, but every farm starts somewhere. Actually, what am I doing here? We need to check. <coughs> Let's see, we have sunflowers. Once again, the grain mill. That's okay. We know where that is. I don't know how long we're going to stream today. I mean, you know. Chat gets a little livelier. But I'm definitely going to be on for an hour or two here. If you're tuning in after the, f uh, after the stream, please hit that like button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to build up content on my video on my page here of videos that uh, you know I don't want to play the same map every day even though I did with Sussex but that's because we were really getting into the farmer dance challenge and uh, there will be more survi uh, survival no man's land episodes uh, there will be more uh, Farmer Dan's Organic Animal Challenge. After we're done with Farmer Dan's Organic Animal Challenge, we're going to take on Rusty Money's uh, New Woodshire Challenge. And I will also be having a dump and a challenge out here pretty soon. Uh, we're going to just say forestry to farming. And uh, get ready to work hard. Get ready to curse, get ready to swear. Get ready to be a little stressed. You shouldn't let it stress you though, it's just digital. All the money we spend here, it's fake. Don't let it stress you out. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if my challenge makes somebody just drop their controller and say, screw it, I don't want to play this game anymore. At least my challenge. <laughs> <coughs> so they don't walk out in front of me. Let's see here, 
so what's this cell for? A vegetable warehouse. I assume they take uh, your root crops. Yeah. Someday, man. Someday. I don't play for trophies. I play for fun. But I've been screwing around with uh, forestry stuff more and more. So I'm getting those uh, tree trophies. Slowly but surely. Sorry, I had to step away from the controller for a couple seconds there. But you know, if I do get my child and my platinum trophy. That'd be super cool, but... Honestly, this game is a lot different for me nowadays. I, uh... I used to just get on and try to build the biggest, meanest farm I possibly could, and... Where are the bakery? Where's the bakery? And, uh... Oh, the bakery's just up the street, man. But nowadays I'm more like, I, I like my small farms. I've been playing a lot with uh, Rusty Money, 90, Rusty Money 96 here on YouTube. Uh, people in the groups know him as uh, Mike. Mike Maple. It's, it's, it's like the tree, just not spelt like it. I think that's what he said. But uh, he, I took on a challenge. It all started because I took on a challenge with Daggerwin, or well, from Daggerwin. He, uh, it was a Ferguson TEA 20 and a little BSX 250 trailer and a chainsaw in no man's land with no money. So I thought it was a pretty rad challenge. So I, I took it. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try to do that. And uh, I started sharing still frames. And they caught Mike's attention. He was like, I never thought to do stuff like this. And uh, he always talks about how I, you know, I inspired him to start doing these challenges and all this. Well, really, he's inspired me to keep going on them. Uh, to try to challenge myself a little bit each each game like this one I could slap a bunch of government signs up but I'd rather play it with the tractors involved I have it on normal economy uh, seasons you know just play it how they gave it to me right here I mean a lot of people you know I've done so many maps where it's like sell off all the equipment buy the stuff I like but uh this one I'm just gonna do it how they gave it to me anyhow so we're gonna keep the wheat keep the oats keep the soybeans I think we'll just uh I think we got enough money for now. We can start getting some aminals up in here. If you're in here paying attention, what should we get first? Should we get uh, some chickens, some pigs, 
or some horses right away. Uh, I'm not going to say cows because I don't have a grass. I don't have grass or bales for them yet. So, uh, let me know with some emojis. Let's see some. Let's see a horse or a chicken or a pig. Checking on these two. Oh, I said we were going to go buy a four-wheeler, but eh, I don't think we're going to. I don't have any uh, grassland. Well. Pretty sure Rusty's watching right now. So since nobody's gonna throw up any uh, animals. Well, I suppose I could have gotten some sheepers too, huh? But, In honor of our friend Rusty Money, who's a cop, and just because I can say this to him, we're going to get some pigs. fill the building right away. Uh, but I think what we're going to do we're going to do feeders. We're going to do Berkshires. Six of them. Half dozen peggers. Sounds like sounds like a good start to me. And just so nobody gets it twisted when I made the joke about my dear friend Rusty being a cop and we're getting pigs in his in his honor. I mean that with all the love, and he knows that, but I, I don't want anyone else to get it twisted. Rusty's a very dear friend of mine. If you haven't checked out his PlayStation or uh, YouTube channel, you should look up Rusty Money 96 here on YouTube, or Rusty Money on PlayStation. He's a good guy. He's uh, like I was saying. He's the dude I run with. We. Uh, I didn't play I, I didn't play multiplayer up until recently, but uh, anytime I can get a chance to, to play with him, it's uh, it's always cool. I uh, I actually introduced myself via one of the the Facebook groups, and I uh, I said you know I don't really play multiplayer, but you seem like the kind of person I'd like to play with. And uh, it's proved to be very fruitful since then. Uh, he's gotten me into doing these uh, these live streams. Uh, gotten me interested in wanting to run a YouTube page. Well, I shouldn't say he got me interested in it. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to play games and post them on the internet, you know, and yada yada. 
But uh, he really gave me the... I don't want to say the confidence, but like... But yeah, that's basically what it is. Like I was always like, ah, I don't think I could do it. Like, not nah, do it, do it. So I did it. And uh, it's slow starting, but everybody's, you know, everybody's page has to start somewhere. Let's get some Wawa for the piggers. Wink, wink, wink. Okay. I don't know where the water point is, so there's lime up there, that's good. Sawmills right up there. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Railroad silos and the mills. Oh man. I think we might need to put one up. It's okay. Let's peek around. Maybe there, maybe there is one that I'm not seeing. Oops. Yeah. It is full. Zoinkers and Wawa. For Pete's sake. Six pigos don't, they don't take much water. Probably won't take much food either. stream. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Uh, we didn't bother to grab any beans. Are you going to feed the piggies if you ain't got food for them, right? That's why they call me Dumas. Those don't turn super tight. Especially when they've got a little bit. In other words, if I was being an idiot and I need to remember not to be. And that's okay. Okay, we're gonna put the rest of these beans back into the silo. That will be one of the things we end up planting this season in order to sufficiently feed our pigs.
crashing fool today. It's okay. My only goal is to not go bankrupt. What's up, Bruce? How are you today? Yes, sir. This is Big Fields Farm. I figured I'd give it a a whirl. I'm doing all right today, uh, minus being still sickly. Uh, home from work again, but figured I might as well make the best of it. Uh, yeah, this is what I want to look at. We're gonna see. They're only going to take 4,500 pounds of food. They're 57 pounds today. So, we got six pigs already. Just, it's a really small download, Bruce. So, like, it, it's totally worth it so far. I mean, uh, I'll uh, pop the screen up here since you're in. There are some massive fields, and as, uh, Another person in the live feed pointed out earlier. Hey, Lated, how are you doing today? But, uh, there's a, the contracts are lucrative for this. And there's all these smaller ones, but $44,000, but like it's, uh, you know, like I was pointing out, that's for field three, and that is the biggest field. Good to hear, Lated. Happy you could stop in today. Check in on our field hands. Oh, I left this tractor running. Fields are gonna need lime. Fabulous. Well, I suppose. We'll uh, run over here. dozen chickens. I think your brother's drunk. Oh, is Rusty live? Oops. 
Oh, that's right, they're chickens. No, but uh, if I'd have known he was going live, I would totally go multi with him. He didn't even tell me he was going live. Oops, see the water truck. We're gonna go get ourselves a horse here. Because we can feed one horse. Horses are good money, actually. We can feed them chickens, but though. that much. I've only got a dozen chickens here. that away and then we're gonna get some oats out. Yeah, you're about an hour and fifteen from your live stream, huh Bruce? You stream at four o'clock your time, if I remember correctly. I most certainly did get the quad. I uh, I've been kind of excited about that one since I saw that they were going to be doing it a couple months ago. Uh, it was a really that one really interested me a lot. Because I've never, you know, you've never, I've never seen a farm that doesn't have at least one four wheeler on it. I think we're going to buy an Andalusian. Just one. I don't need to get crazy with the horses. Yeah, I was making sure that I knew what time your stream was because I'll probably tune in. Even if I've got it on in the background, I usually try to tune in somebody's stream. So this is why I wanted to buy a horse. First off, I haven't, uh, Robin. Take a ride around and check this map out a little bit. Let's 
turn our uh, Uh, I'm not sure yet, Bruce. I like the map so far. I think it might just become. I'm going to at least do a, a season of it. Maybe. I'm not sure yet, though. I do really like it, though. This is a, It's a great expansive map, but... That's just it. It's an expansive map. Huge. I mean, we're riding along Field 11 here. And it just seems like it doesn't end. Yeah, look at that. I mean, these fields are just huge. But I mean, you could still run a small farm right up in the front there with 13, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Those are small fields. So this map seems to have a little bit for everybody. And part of me is like, I think we might just play it once and just check it out. But another part of me, uh, it's starting to say, uh, if people want to step in and watch more, you know, if I start getting some good review, you know, some good feedback for this video, I'll probably start playing it more often. But uh, when I started this, it was a, let's check it out. Bit of a, this would be a bit of a bear. If you uh, were to take this all on with three meter equipment, and that seems to be the way I play a lot more often nowadays is with little equipment. You know, like I said earlier in the video, Rusty really has had a uh, an influence on me. I've been wanting the smaller and smaller stuff and. more challenging, I guess. This is a good horse. Thank you. Uh, one thing I haven't done with this map yet is go into landscape mode so we can see it from above. I've shown the, the map screen a lot, but But yeah, if I keep going with this one, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just keep playing it as it is. I mean... Yeah, me too, Bruce. Uh, I'll let the cat out of the bag. I've changed my... Uh, I keep saying, oh, it'll, my, my survival will come out this week. My challenge will come out this week. But uh, this week it is, it, I, I swear, it's going to be out by tomorrow, if not by today. Um, I'm doing it on one of the really smaller, of the smaller maps. Really, for this map, it really isn't even all that small. It isn't even all that big, it just seems like it is. I think we got our five minutes in on him. Oh no. All right, a little bit more. I miss riding horses. I used to ride with my sister and my dear friend Jackie a lot. And uh, now it's been a couple of years. 
We're just kind of just wandering around the field here and until I get my 100% on him. What can I ride him? Can I ride him more than a hundred percent in a day? That's weird. Needs more water. needs more water. Holy cow. It's just for one horse. Take care of your horses. She still isn't worth anything yet though. I don't know. Check in on our plowers. Check in on our chick chick chickens. Not that they're gonna be doing anything. Got it on one X right now. This video has been about an hour. Um, mostly just wanted to check this out in case anybody else hasn't. Wanted to give it a quick peek. Um, as always, I enjoy streaming for everybody. I enjoy everybody who stops in and says hey. Um, like I said, super short stream right now, so. If you're stepping in afterwards, please uh, smash that like button, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna stop this worker. Let this one get set up. I'm gonna stop them too. And uh, with that, we're going to say adios from Dumas Farms on Big Fields Farm. Uh, oh, I did say I was going to do one more thing, and we'll do it as we leave. Here's our, uh, our overhead view. Thanks, Bruce. We'll be talking to you soon. All right. There's the overhead tour, and until next time.